to Oracle Park, 645 first pitch as the Giants take on the A's. Looks like nice weather out there this evening. Not sure what happened at 8 o'clock there, but I'm confident there will be a temperature and there will be weather at that point. Likely in between 63 and 61 degrees at that point. Temperatures are going to steadily back off, but mid-60s on a July evening in San Francisco, pretty nice. Hey, there we go. Filling in the gap. 62 degrees for a temperature at 8 o'clock this evening. It looks generally nice, and the wind is not going to be all that strong, and any fog that develops should hold off until later tonight. A stronger onshore breeze is going to help to cool our temperatures down over the next couple of days. So we do have that cooler weather that's going to kick in not just through the rest of this week, but it's likely to stick around for a while, pushing the above normal temperature trend a little bit farther off to the east. There is even a sliver in the six to 10 day outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, which takes us into early August. A weak signal towards below average temperatures, even in the long range data beyond the scope of the seven day forecast and a stronger signal than that. Enough that we can actually label it in the eight to 14 day outlook, which takes us a full week into the month of August. So no inland heat building back towards the Bay Area anytime soon. It doesn't mean temperatures are necessarily going to be frosty far from it, but inland temperatures running close to normal in the 80s. We can handle that in late July and early August. The air quality was good pretty much across the board today. A couple of yellow dots indicating sensors that are probably malfunctioning in the purple air network, but it's nice to see all of this green on the map indicating no problems air quality wise today. It might not be the case tomorrow. It does look like a little bit of smoke is going to drift down towards us from the flat fire that is still burning. It's over 20,000 acres in southwestern Oregon. It's only 3% contained, so it's still going to be producing these waves of smoke that are going to drift down towards us, mostly in the upper levels of the atmosphere, which means ground level. Air quality should be OK right now. Seeing blue skies over San Jose where the temperature is 84 degrees. It is hot inland temperatures in the low to mid 90s in Santa Rosa, Livermore and in Concord, but comfortable around the Bay 67 in San Francisco, 72 degrees in Oakland as of 5 p.m. The fog is going to try to redevelop again. It'll hold off until later tonight. A little more of an inland push as the weight of the atmosphere on top of us decreases. That allows the fog to get a little deeper, make a bigger push into those inland valleys, but it backs up quickly. Should be back to along the coast by about midday. Temperatures start off in the mid to upper 50s to a few spots in the low 60s. High temperatures tomorrow reaching up to 1 to 3 degrees below average for a change. That means 60 along the coast, mid 60s in San Francisco, upper 60s for Oakland, mostly 70s down the peninsula, a mix of 70s and 80s inland and only the very hottest spots far inland reaching up to around 90 degrees in the Delta. When the hottest spots in late July are at 90 degrees, we're doing OK. Temperatures are going to stay slightly below average through pretty much through the duration of the seven day forecast. Very little change for San Francisco and Oakland, the city hovering in the mid 60s, Oakland right around 70 degrees. Inland spots have a little more variation back up to the mid 80s farther inland in the North Bay as we head into the weekend, right around 80 degrees in San Jose. Again, just fine for late July. And when the inland parts of the East Bay, especially the Tri-Valley, are staying below 90 degrees in July and eventually into early August, just a week away. Yeah, we want this to stick around for as long as we can. Helps to keep a lid on the fire threat, too.